145 The Reef Condo. Not gonna see it quite yet, because right now we're down at Duggan's Reef Restaurant, which is one of my favorite restaurants on St. Croix. And if you ever come, I don't know if it's on the specials board tonight, but the Irish Whiskey Lobster, the best. You gotta have that. Give Frank a heads up you're coming, because you gotta get a reservation here. One of St. Croix's finest restaurants right here on the water, right across the street from the condo that we're gonna go check out right now. All right, here we are in the parking lot. As you can see, there's plenty of parking down here. And next to the restaurant parking lot are two beautifully redone tennis courts for owner use and guest use here at uh, the Reef Condos. But let's take a cruise up, take a closer look at the condo itself. It's a short golf cart ride from the beach area, the restaurant. Right across the street and up to the, uh, the unit itself. We'll be there in just about two minutes. Here's a quick look at the drive coming in. I just went through the gate. You've got some uh, fairways off to the right. There's a T right there. And you can see the units up on the hill above. The other benefit of the reef is they also have, as you can see, Frisbee golf. Right now we got a little friend there perched on the, on the hole there. That's the fourth hole. And then this is looking down across the driving range and the unit we're going to check out is right on the right, just ahead. I would not recommend hanging out in this spot for too long. I'm dead center in the middle of the driving range. The tee's down at that end, and we're at about the 150 yard mark. The units along this side are on the east side of the driving range, and we're gonna go check out 145, which is right there. Let's go scope it out. Okay, here we are. Looking back at the 150 mark into the valley and out to Buck Island. And this unit is right here. Unfortunately, we got a power outage right now. So we're operating by candlelight. I have to say this might be the first time I've shown a unit by candlelight, but here we are at 145. Beautiful outdoor patio. Golf cart park right outside there. This actually has a hot tub that's not included with the unit. So that won't be there, but you certainly have room for one if you wanted to put one back. But a super comfortable covered gallery here. Nice big awning. These windows actually hinge outward and open up. So if you wanted to open them completely, you could do that. We got the AC running right now. Well, technically it's not running at the moment without power, but as you can see, if you wanted to trim some of these trees back some of these coconut palms you get a nice view of buck island right there and across to the fairway and the driving range got your little goggles too to check out the boats aloha got blake in here doing pictures hello, hello blakey <laughs> brand new ceiling fan beautifully decorated super comfy we get all the candles lit, so we get a little bit of backlight in here. You got a storage closet in the corner. Real comfortable living area. Let's shoot up to the bedroom first, and then we'll head back downstairs. Go up a nice set of stairs here. Beautiful runner carpet, closet underneath, window here for extra ventilation. Brand new stacked washer dryer with a skylight. That's a brand new unit, less than a month old. Beautiful queen bed, dresser, TV. And then this unit has an additional space here. Most of these units have an open loft here. This owner has joisted over this section and cut out a railing here a bit, which gives you a nice little working nook. You can take a seat, you get a little peek of view out the window there, desk. Buddha, and then of course, lots of closet space on this side, and then an ensuite bath. Another skylight, all beautifully renovated as you can see. The shower is all newly tiled. Nice wooden um, uh, 
luxury vinyl flooring. And again, back to the washer dryer. So that's the, the main bedroom in the unit. And downstairs, there's another bedroom and bath. And as you can see, there's a really nice split system here, which powers and cools the whole place down. Let's head downstairs. All right, back down to the main living area. Looking back out to the covered patio. Nice big island. Beautiful surface. I think this is um, engineered quartz. Matches on both sides here. Electric oven and range. Nice stainless dishwasher. Lots of cabinetry. Beautiful fridge, microwave and toaster oven. Very comfortable unit right here on the golf course. Now, originally the unit would have a half bath here. There would have been a wall right here and the, and the vanity would have been here, but this has been converted to a two bedroom, two bath, so you have a full bath. So now you have your toilet here and then a walkthrough to a full bath, which connects en suite to the second bedroom. We'll go around the other way and show you how that's laid out. Here's your front door coming in. So as you come in the front door, immediately to the right, you have a pocket door, which tucks away neatly there, out of the way. And then you're into a queen bed guest bedroom. Got a separate mini split, closet in the corner. And then there's drawer storage under the bed on all sides for extra storage. And then it connects directly into the bathroom. And here's the shower, full size shower, very comfy, not squishy at all. And then again, this was an outdoor patio. So as you can see, there are these, you know, glass sliding doors here. So what you can do, if you just want sound privacy, you close the glass and then you still get the light. But then if you want full privacy, you close these beautiful curtains and voila, you have 100% privacy in this bedroom now. So the guest bath still serves or the, the guest bedroom bath still serves as a guest bath, but you can lock this off completely once you close this pocket door and you have 100% privacy in that second bedroom. Really great design. It was done by a guy named Al Vare who uh, did this conversion and he put a lot of thought into it. There's been a lot of these. As you can see the roof, this would have been an open patio like the neighboring unit is still, but this one's been enclosed. So. Here's your entrance. Here's how you would come in. Parking is up above here, a park just above. And then here's where you deposit your trash in these receptacles, these lift up and they come and remove your trash on a regular basis. But great unit at a great price and in really perfect condition. So if you're a golfer or a beach lover, or you just want to hang out by the pool, this would be a really good op opportunity for you guys to pick up a condo in a great spot here on the east end of St. Croix. Oh, we didn't say hi to Steph. Hi, Steph. Hi, Steph. Hey, Steph. So give us a call if you want to check it out. 145 The Reef here in Teague Bay, right up above Duggan's Reef Restaurant and the St. Croix Yacht Club. Take your pick. You want to use the green one or the beige one? Hmm, I think I'll go with green today. Life is good. Oops. Hope that wasn't a slice. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody.